Happy Christmas Eve everyone, my name is Mulder and welcome back to the Game Cron. Today we're looking at Cyberpunk 2077, How to Craft Legendary Items. In this video I'll go over what types of perks you need to invest in in order for you to unlock the ability to craft legendary items, what other perks are worth unlocking in your crafting tree, and then finally what three key components you're gonna need to get in order for you to craft legendary items and where you can get them. All that and more straight ahead. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. To start things off let's talk about your technical ability. Now in order for you to unlock the perks that you need in order to craft legendary items, your technical ability needs to be at level 20. Once it is, there are two important perks you need to get. The first and most important one is the Edge Runner Artisan, which as it states allows you to craft legendary items. The next important perk to get is Cutting Edge, which improves the damage and all damage related stats of any crafted weapons by 5%. Now where you like to spend the rest of your perk points within the crafting tree is up to you, but the perks I focused on unlocking in my crafting tree really helped me out. The first is Waste Not, Want Not, Tune Up, Ex Nihil, Field Technician, 200% Efficiency, True Craftsman, Mechanic, Scrapper, Workshop, Innovation, Grease Monkey, Efficient Upgrades, and Cost Optimization. These perks for me within the crafting tree have really helped me out, especially Waste Not, Want Not, because with this perk, when you disassemble any item, you get the attached mods back. So now you can take down any type of epic, rare, to even legendary item and make sure that you get all of your mods back. Again, how you spend your perk points within your crafting tree is up to you. Now once you've reached level 20 in your technical ability, you've unlocked edge runner and have spent your crafting perk points to where you want them to be, the next thing you do want to focus on is key components. There are three types of components you're going to need to have in order for you to craft legendary items. Legendary item components, epic item components, and rare item components. Now there are a variety of ways that you can get all three of these components. The first is that they can be bought at vendors such as the junk shop for a decent amount of eddies. The second way you can find them is found within loot chests. You can also craft them once you have the crafting spec and when you get one, or you can actually get a few once you break down a legendary item. But I'll definitely say one of the fastest ways I've been able to get these things Things is by taking down mechs, drones, and robots. Pretty much every single time you take down one of these machines, it's going to be dropping you either a legendary, epic, or rare item component. So if you find yourself low on eddies, you don't have enough legendary items you want to break down, then it's definitely worth your time to go out of your way to go look for certain types of side missions or NCPD missions to where your main opponents you're going to have to be dealing with are robots and drones. Simply shock them with your quick hacking ability and you're going to be able to take them down without having to fire a shot. Once you have enough legendary item components, epic item components, and rare item components, now you're going to be able to then start crafting legendary items. As you craft certain items, depending upon what your level is at, is the amount of DPS that you're going to get out of that item. The same goes for certain types of armor for clothing that you're trying to craft as well. One very important thing to keep in mind is to hang on to any type of epic or rare item that you have that is iconic, because you're going to be able to actually upgrade that into a legendary once you have the ability to start crafting legendary items along with upgrading them. As you can see right here, I'm about to get a legendary katana based off of an epic item that if I broke down this sword or lost it, I wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to craft it into a legendary item. Now I've been easily putting in over 100 hours into this game so far, doing plenty of side missions, gigs, and NCPD missions, while also focusing on the main story. And I can honestly tell you, I haven't been able to really stockpile a lot of legendary item components, epic item components, or rare item components. That being said, make sure that you are dedicated to the type of legendary item you want to craft. These special components can also be used to upgrade any type of legendary items that you have if you don't have the crafting spec for them. It all benefits by putting your perk points into the right crafting perks that you want. Simply follow these simple steps, look at the crafting perks I've put together, and also keep in mind to where you can get some of these legendary, epic, and rare item components, and you're going to be crafting some of your favorite legendary items in no time. And that's it for our Cyberpunk 2077 How to Craft Legendary Items. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Christmas is right around the corner and although this year has been tough for many of us, I truly wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll be dropping more video content on Cyberpunk 2077 along with future RPGs very soon, so be sure to stick around. Until then, my name is Mulder, thank you so much for joining me in the Game Cron, and Happy Holidays to you all.